Boa tarde, força, esteja à vontade. Boa tarde, como é que está? Você ainda precisa aqui umas vezes para encher, para encher um bocado, não? Tenho demais. É, já ficava aqui umas poucas já para encher, para encher aqui um bocado. Eu em tudo tenho mais. Vai fazer isso sozinho, não é? Estou com o meu pai e às vezes sozinho. beam is done now um, one missing in order to connect uh, all the walls of the of the building then after that I'm going to do a column in the middle of the building and uh, with the, this column and the beams around uh, I will be ready to put the structure that will hold the roof uh, the structure is the stainless uh, steel beams that I have on the side already and uh, to explain it better, I did a 3D model uh, that I will explain face by face what I'm going to do next in order for you to understand. So.
explaining a bit now what I'm going to do next uh, in order to put the roof as fast as possible. That's my main concern right now because the uh, raining season is coming and I wouldn't like to have um, all these walls uh, getting uh, super wet uh, every day. So yeah, the, um, the goal now is to put uh, the roof. So I'm going to explain a bit uh, what are the structures that I'm going to to build in order to sustain the roof and uh, to put these beams over here. So yeah, let's go to the 3D model. So this is the current state of the construction, um, or I mean, uh, this beam here is not done yet, but uh, it will be done uh, next week. So um, what I'm planning on doing after uh, this beam is um, to demolish these two walls here and uh, with this demolition I will be able to fill uh, these stairs um, that I was using till now but now I have these ones um, for the moment that I did with uh, the other part of this wall so yeah what I'm planning on doing is to demolish all of these tanks, um, walls and these walls in the middle as uh, the other tank around um, and then to fill this with these walls that I'm going to take I'm going to fill the stairs here of course this tank I'm not going to demolish it yet and this uh, bit of wall uh, not yet as well because the piece of land around is not mine yet but yeah um, after I have um, the stair filled up. I'm able to, um, to, to go and do the concrete column here that will support the structure of the roof. Of course, this will have a retaining wall here in the, um, the position of uh, the stairs today. So this new concrete column will uh, be holding uh, the structure of the roof that will be uh, the second thing to do which will be uh, these uh, beams that I have on the side and um, yeah it will be approximately like this this is the way I found out to use all the beams that I had there and um, uh, make it uh, the best possible so I have uh, bigger beams like this one that can hold a bigger weight this one is the same and this one and then I have another uh, smaller beams that are omegas, um, 10 centimeters. The other one are 25, and they will be held by this bigger beam. And then I will attach them to the concrete beam on the side. So then after that, I'm ready to put the roof. The roof I wanted it to be in. A, this uh, metal sheet that has insulation in the middle it's two metal sheets with insulation this is not really well seen at least uh, here in Portugal um, but I think the reason for that is because uh, uh, this material is often used uh, all the time used um, to mimic uh, the roof the existing roofs in tile and um, we still have a lot that are really mimicking the circular shape of the tile and uh, then because of that I think um, that's why it's not really uh, well seen uh, and uh, because then like it's mimicking the, the tile uh, this roof is often used hanging off the hanging off the walls and uh, as it's a small thin layer it's uh, not a pretty thing to see a small a thin layer um, hanging off the walls so uh, what I'm planning on doing here is this roof will be till half of the la of the beam here and then I will cover this up with a metal sheet that is proper for the system and um, I have an idea for the detail and I think will be will be pretty so yeah 
another reason for this material not to be used often is the color which is all also I always used uh, the red one and I'm thinking on using this gray which I think will give it more uh, contemporary look so yeah uh, after this uh, what I'm planning on doing uh, is it's in the inside once I have the roof done I can start with the other materials and uh, with the insulation of the floorings that will be the next step after this roof the roof is the, mo the most important thing now i think i can do it in three weeks maybe so yeah then after that i will do maybe i will take the structure off to be visible after that will be this level of insulation so then after that we have the finishes will which will be this concrete layer uh, that I'm speaking about this seven eight nine centimeters of concrete and then the stairs I will fill the, um, the holes in the walls and everything like that but uh, yeah I will have the structure that will be in a light steel frame as well and uh, not only like this it will fill uh, also here as well but yeah just for you to have an idea how it will be so yeah this is uh, the plan for the next months now the most important thing is to continue with the, the structure of the roof which is the most important thing now and um, I think I can do it maybe in one two months let's see